guys! Welcome back to Kawaii Toy Collector. And in today's video, I'm going to show you guys one ingredient no glue slime recipes that are real. So, yeah. Also, guys, the hashtag notification squad for my last video is... My Life as Alexa, Michaela Adams, Barry Funny, and Team LA. So, you guys want to be part of the hashtag notification squad, all you guys have to do is after you subscribe to me, hit the bell. That'll mean you guys be notified right after I upload a new video. So, after I upload a new video, make sure you guys comment down below at least under 10 minutes, hashtag notification squad, and you guys click the people seen on the screen today. Also, guys, remember to please leave a like and subscribe to Quiet Toy Collector, and the comments down below give us some video ideas. So, let's get right into the video. Okay guys, so the first no glue slime recipe I'll be showing you guys today is dish soap slime. So I'm going to you guys when you make this slime recipe today is dish soap and I'm using Dawn. The next thing you guys will need is a bowl or plate to make your slime in. And last but not least, you guys will need a mixing tool. So this first recipe is a one ingredient slime recipe and I like this recipe a lot. So I'm first going to take out my bowl or plate and add in my dish soap. You can add in as much as you want. I'm just going to add in about till it gets to like right there and now you're gonna get mixing it around I'm gonna time lapse this because you really want to get like a lot of air bubbles in there or else this will not work at all and if even you like mix it a lot and there's still like only a little bit air bubbles it will not work so just keep mixing it Okay, so I got so many air bubbles in there, and this is about a perfect, like, how you want it to be. And now I'm going to put this into the freezer for about 10 minutes, and I'll see you guys in about a second. Okay, so it's been about 10 minutes, and here is, I'm going to get mixing it around and see if anything happened. And you can see there's some clumps in here of what looks like a really cool slime that was made from the dish soap. And I can see it right here. So it clumps up to make some slime. It's holdable and stuff, but I feel like you needed salt for this one ingredient slime recipe. So you guys can take out like your salt or anything. So I'm just gonna add in some sea salt. The salt's kinda like the activator to a lot of like slime recipes. So when people say one ingredient, I don't really know if it's gonna work or something. But here it is. And look how cool this is. It made a really cool like clumpy slime. If I've like played with this a lot, it would turn out cool. But yeah, so I'm actually gonna put this in the freezer for a little bit more time and at the end of the video I'll show you guys how the recipe is but let's move on to the next one ingredient no glue slime recipe okay guys so the next one ingredient no glue slime recipe I'll be showing you guys today is lotion slime so the ingredients you guys need to make this slime recipe is lotion and I'm using this baby lotion I got from Big Lots the next thing you guys will need is a bowl or plate to make your slime in and last but not least you guys will need a mixing tool so I really do love making lotion slimes because it turns out really well and I have like three videos on it. Also don't mind my voice, I'm a little bit sick. But let's first add in the lotion to the bowl. I feel like a lot of you guys know how to make the lotion slime so you can follow me along and look I just made a huge mess. <laughs> so I'm going to add in the lotion here. And now you can see I added in that much and what you're going to do is you're basically just going to put this into the refrigerator for about 15 minutes and I'll see you guys in about a second. Okay, so it's been about 15 minutes, and here it is, and I'm really excited to see how it turned out. So I'm going to get mixing it around, and oh my gosh, this is so cool. Guys, look at the lotion. I'm really excited how this turned out, and it's pretty, like, it's not even sticky, really. But as I said, a lot of, like, no glue slime recipes, they, like, if it's one ingredient, you're going to need salt. Because, like, I don't really see how it can, like, not be so sticky without, like, the activator for... No glue slime recipes, which is salt, so I'm going to get mixing around it a little bit. And this is so cool because it kind of feels like, like clay slime, but it's not really. But look how awesome this turned out. And yeah, I'm actually going to put this back in the refrigerator till the end of the video to show you guys how it is. But yeah, let's move on to the last and final one ingredient no glue slime recipe. Okay, so the last and final one ingredient no glue slime recipe I'll be showing you guys today is hand soap slime. So the ingredients you guys need to make this slime recipe today is hand soap, and I'm using this dial one. Next thing you guys will need is a bowl or plate to make your slime in. And last but not least, you guys will need a mixing tool. Also, I'm sorry if you hear any noises upstairs or like around the camera. It's like a lot of my family members upstairs and they can hear me. But I'm first going to take out my bowl or plate and add in my hand soap. I'm going to uncap this so it goes a little bit faster because you guys know whenever I do a hand soap slime, there's like always a little bit of soap left in here. So see if I can get some out. <laughs> come on, a little bit come out. 
Okay, that looks like enough. It's not really showing up on camera, camera, but yeah, now it is. So now I'm gonna get mixing this around. Okay. Ooh, it's already like clumping up. That's pretty cool. Now I'm gonna put this in the refrigerator for about 10 minutes, and I'll see you guys in about a second. Okay, so it's been about 10 minutes, and here it is, and I'm really excited to see how it turned out. And it looks like it formed a little bit. Let me touch it to see. Yeah, it has a feeling of hand soap slimes. You can see that right away. It's a little sticky, as you can see the residue. It does leave a residue off because, you know, guys, you need a little bit of salt. Because wood ingredient slimes are kind of hard to make. Because, you know, they don't really have the activator, which is salt. And, yeah. Also, a lot of you guys have been saying, like, your no boost slime recipes by me haven't been working well. I want to say like, the same thing for me because you guys have to remember that, like, the recipes I show in, like, videos like these, it takes me a while to get them right. Like, I have to keep mixing them and mixing them in between the times and minutes and when they're in the freezer or fridge. And that's why it might not work well because you need air bubbles. And as you can see, there's so many air bubbles in this one. And, yeah, so, like, don't get down if it doesn't work. It happens to me, too. It's just when you get it right, you get it right. So this one is a big win-win. All the more a big win-win. I'm going to get the rest of them out of the refrigerator and freezer. Because I put it in there so uh, they can they can see how they turn out. And look at this. <laughs> the bowls are really cold, sorry. But here is the lotion slime. And oh my gosh, the refrigerator made it like really, really cold. But the lotion slime turned out really well. The refrigerator made it like more moldable, so... Remember, guys, if it like, it's not really holdable, put it back into the refrigerator or freezer. It's really cold right now. And then here is the dish soap slime and the ice from the freezer. When I left it in there, it clumped it up into making even better slime. So, yeah. So, thank you guys so much for watching this video today. Here's all the slime recipes I made. So the first one was the dish soap slime, and I added a little bit of salt at the end to see if it worked out well. And this one is a big win-win. The next one was the lotion slime, and I added a little bit of salt too. But this one was really cool, and I liked how it turned out. It's really playable. And last but not least was the hand soap and a little bit of salt slime. And this one is a big win-win. So yeah. So thank you guys so much for watching this video today. Remember guys, please leave a like and subscribe to Quiet Toy Collector. In the comments down below, give us some video ideas. Bye guys, love you, and peace. Thumbs up for no glue sign recipes. Bye.